In the previous lecture, we saw different XTCN pairs and these XTCN pairs are very useful while solving the multiple choice questions. Obtaining the correct answer using these pairs is the shortcut method and in this presentation we are going to solve one MCQ using the shortcut method. In this question, we need to determine the Fourier series coefficient for the given periodic signal XT. You can see the waveform of signal XT, it is periodic and you can find the nature of signal XT from the given plot. We can see that it is real and also it is even. We can say that it is even because when you perform the time reversal, this means when you flip the signal about the y-axis, you will find the same signal. So signal XT is satisfying the condition for even signals. It is satisfying this condition, therefore it is even in nature and also it is real. Now if you see XTCN pair, you will find when XT is real and even, CN is also real and even. So this implies CN is also real and even. And in the question, it is asking about the Fourier series coefficient. So it is asking about CN and we have four options. So we will try to eliminate the options based on this result that CN is real and even. Therefore, I am calling it the shortcut method. Now we will talk about option A. Here in place of N, it is using K for the integer. Therefore, we will use the representation CK. So CK is equal to A over J pi K sine pi by 2 K. And you can clearly see we have J here. And as there is J, CK in this case is imaginary. But we needed our coefficient to be real. So option A is the incorrect option because here the coefficient is imaginary. Now we will move to option B. In option B, CK is equal to A over pi JK. Here we have cos in place of sine. So we have cos pi by 2k. Again, we have j in the denominator. So ck is imaginary. Therefore, option B is the incorrect option. Now we will move to option C. Option C is having the coefficient equal to a over pi k, no j this time, sine pi by 2k. So this time the coefficient is real. So the first condition is satisfied and now we are required to check whether it is even or not. And for this we will use the condition for a signal to be even. We will perform the reversal operation. We will find C minus K. So we have A over minus pi K. In place of K we will have minus K. So we have A over minus pi K sine inside the bracket minus pi by 2k because k is equal to minus k. Now we have minus a over pi k sine minus theta is equal to minus sine theta. Therefore sine minus pi by 2k is equal to minus sine pi by 2k minus and minus will become plus and we are having a over pi k sine pi by 2k. This is the value of C minus K and you can see it is same as the value of CK. So C minus K is same as CK and we can say that after performing the reversal we have the same signal. Therefore the coefficient is even in nature. So CK in case of option C is real and also it is even. So our condition is satisfied. We needed the coefficient to be real and even. And in option C, the coefficient is real and even. But we will keep option C on hold because we are using the shortcut method and it is important to check option D as well. In option D, CK is equal to A over pi K, A over pi K cos pi by 2K, cos pi by 2K. And as there is no J in the expression, it is purely real and now we will check whether it is even or not and for this we will perform the reversal operation we will find c minus k 
and we will have a over minus pi k cos minus pi by 2k and we already know cos minus theta is equal to cos theta so c minus k will be equal to minus a over pi k cos pi by 2 k so this is the value of c minus k and it is equal to minus c k so this is the condition for odd signals and thus in this case c k is odd so we are getting real and odd therefore option d is incorrect option and option c is the correct option so this is how you have to use XTCN pairs. This is one shortcut method to solve the objective questions related to complex exponential Fourier series. If you have any doubt, you may ask in the comment section. I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.